Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, I've got some completion reviews to do and these have all come in PR packages from uh, GBFKE. I've been working with them for a while now um, and these are all the ones I saved up for smashing the specials which uh, Mindy and Brandy are doing and I'll put the links down below for their channel so if you do want to join in we're only sort of halfway through ish well not even quite halfway through August yet and it is the smashing the specials for is running from the 1st of August to the 31st of August I love it because I love special drill canvases and projects and things and all the sparkle so I love doing these and it makes me get them done as well and um, because I do have a lot of them and I find that I get wrapped up in doing other things but uh, this year we've had two smashing the specials um, events and yeah I just really look forward to it and getting them all done and showing everybody and seeing everybody else's and sadly at the moment I think I'm ordering as many as I'm doing so my stash just isn't going down but anyway never mind so let's start with uh, well, let's start with the biggest first and we'll move on to the smallest okay so let me just move those out of the way some of them I have done a little bit of a tweak on um so yeah right pop that one just there as well so this is my gorgeous little love bird how cute and wonderful and sparkly is that uh, i'm sorry if you can hear the fan in the background uh today it's been up to 97 uh, in full sun and it went down to 87 when i went out in the car with all the windows open so yeah it's been a very hot day so i'm trying to do not quite such long videos so i'm not in my craft room quite so long okay uh enough waffle is so look at these flowers look how sparkly these are and these are all round crystals apart from the one yellow round like pearl like half sphere with no facets on but i just think that has come up superb i love the background it's like goes from like a purpley bluey color up to a darker green color there really sort of takes the colors up to that corner but then it just lets your uh, eye draw to this parrot and oh it is just wonderful i just love it it was 12 different gems and i just smiled i think the whole time i was doing it i literally spent sort of few hours yesterday afternoon yesterday evening doing it because once i'd started it i thought right i've got to finish this because it's just so cute as i say it was from gbfke it was five pound and 54 pence and i think i got that one in round about may or june but it was still on the website when i looked today and um, if you do look on gbfk I've got a random bag there gbfke's website there are quite a few special offers um, and gifts and things and all sorts going on so if you pop over and give them a look yeah there's all sorts of things i keep going and looking and thinking nope stop it stop it stop it but i just can't help myself what can i say the other little canvas that i did which was a little teeny tiny canvas that just had two little colors look at gold and silver wow that'll be easy to kick down won't it uh this was from april this year and again it was a pr package 30 by 30 i mean you can see that that's not 30 by 30 by any means um i think if it's 20 by 20 that's all that's likely to be i did do an unboxing on it and um, all of these things have been unboxed so if you want to search my playlist you will find them yeah this one is 19 centimeters which is seven and a half inches by 19 centimeters which is seven and a half inches i actually got this um with the thoughts of possibly doing it um as a hubby's anniversary card which i may still do because this is a nice size to put onto uh, a greetings card very pretty i actually changed some of this up as well so what i've done because it was just literally the two sizes of gems and the two colors so from i can't remember which one it was i did now one of my other kits that I did, um, possibly the, ha the Harry Potters, I'm not sure. Um, I had some of my little like uh, marquees left over. So I used marquees for the feathers on the arrows there, rather than just using the round gems. And then on the end of every letter, 
I put a larger size silver gem rather than just using the small gems so it's just added it to it that little bit more so we've got you know extra large gems on it and I do think that the feathers in like the AB marquee clear just get a bit closer has just come out that little bit pretty just giving it a little bit of something extra and the larger gems just makes the writing I feel as though it makes the writing stand out a little bit more but yeah don't be afraid to have a play about with your canvases you know you soon get the confidence to do it once you've done one and you've lost nothing if you decide oh no I've decided I don't like that they'll come off no problem and just put back whatever was intended to go there so yeah I like that one and I think that one I've not put the price on but I'm sure that that one was only about three or four pound it was only a, a, a relatively uh, inexpensive one anyway so I'm just keeping all these gems here right and then oh yes <laughs> those of you that have been with me for a while will remember again uh, oh this one was in may i got this gorgeous gel and um, eye mask and for this weather it's just wonderful to just use the gel pack it has a gel pack inside that you can take out and pop in the freezer and then you just put that over your eyes now it came with um black with a silver back and white gems as you can see i've not actually opened that because what i decided to do was do it actually in glow in the dark drills so it has white glow in the darks and black glow in the darks on it so yeah i am going to try and get a hubby with this um by getting it charged up and then when he comes to bed put it on so there's just two eyes next to him glowing in the dark he's played so many tricks on me over the years i feel it's time I need to start getting my own back a little bit. Um, I did get some of the glow in the dark whites from GBFKE, but when they came, they were clear. And unfortunately, because they were clear, you could see the number underneath. So they're going to be mainly for doing projects where you're making up um, your own little pictures, your own little canvases, like I've done my little Scotty dog there and my little heart, I made up that pattern. So those gems I'll have to use for that because unfortunately they are quite see-through. Uh, but it's no problem. I've got plenty of uh, other glow-in-the-darks that uh, I've got left over from other kits and some that I've actually bought as well because I do like glow-in-the-dark. And it's coming up to that October time again when we will be starting to think about it. So yeah, that was a really handy little item to get. And that was only £4.18, so for a gel mask, it's a really uh, good price. So, yeah, I'll, I just, if it was just the eyes, I just had to get the eyes. I then got my two little Harry Potter style bookmarks, which I actually did last night. Did I do them last night? No, I did them yesterday morning. I spent practically the whole day diamond painting yesterday because it was just so hot. I just didn't want to move, so I did the jobs that I had to do. And then the rest was just spent diamond painting, which was great. I loved it. Got lots done. As I said, I got my whole bed picture done and I got my two little bookmarks. I've not put the tassels on them yet. Uh, they were £4.88 for the pair. Okay, and they do come with these gorgeous tassels with like the, it's like a flowery type emblem on the top. I can't see it very well, but... Uh, yeah and the black beads but i've not put those on because i want to seal these before uh, yeah before i get anything done it was a bit strange this though i'm wondering because there is actually four in this set um of bookmarks and i'm wondering if the gems you get are actually for the set of four because i've got all of these gems here we've got three four five j d and two um, that we didn't use on this on these two bookmarks at all none of these gems had those numbers on so while I've got loads of spares of the ones that I actually did use these there's actually yeah uh, well they didn't go with this set so it was really strange as I say I am wondering if it is a set of four and possibly these gems went on the other two bookmarks so maybe if I get the other two Maybe I'll need these gems or maybe I'll get another full set again. I might just order the other two and just see what happens. But yeah, so that was a bit strange, getting extra gems. 
I mean, we never mind extras. It's a lot better than getting <laughs> than not getting them. Goodness me. Right, so that was our little bookmarks. They're really good. I love the sparkle on them. And uh, yeah, they do need sealing though if you are going to use them. Uh, but to be honest, I think I'd probably use them as decoration rather than a bookmark. It seems a shame to put them in a book. I quite like them, I might just have them out in my craft room. <laughs> and then finally, oh gosh, this was a labour of love. Uh, they are quite difficult to do these. Particularly, oh, I've got a, a drill there. Look, that's an upside down drill that's got the colour on the other side. I'll have to swap that one out. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love it. The sparkle on this is just unreal. I mean, look at that. I hope it's catching it on there. Even Hubby said, oh, that's sparkly. Well, I had it on my desk while I was doing it. But it is your little school bus tissue holder. Um, and it's even got the back braking lights look and everything. I just think it's great. But yeah, it was, I don't want to say difficult, it was awkward to do because I have to use my light so it's up above it and it's the magnifying light so I have to look through it and I usually just put things flat on my desk and then work on them but I was finding with this I was having to like have it lower than the desk because of the way I work and um, if I put it on my desk my lamp was just so close to it and then I couldn't get my pen in to do any time <laughs> painting so that was no good uh, but yeah it's come out really well and it's a little let's say tissue holder this bottom does just come off let me just give it a pull I'm trying not to pull it too hard because I've not sealed it yet and I don't want any of my drills to come off I mean they are very well and truly stuck down but you know use a bit of brute force and they will move uh, so yeah what I'm going to do with this is actually put one of those um, cheaper toilet rolls in you know the ones that aren't quite as fluffy and aren't quite as round as long and if you just sort of squidge it down a little bit then you, your top of your toilet roll will just come out the top and I'm hoping it's going to save me some money I've just got a gem on me there and I'm not quite sure where it's come from um, it might be one that I've left because if one stand up or go upside down, I can't see them. Uh, and yeah, I do find awkward gems and uh, I do find gems sort of all sorts of places later on. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that just clips on and you've got plenty of uh, room there to pull out your bottom there as it were. And yeah, a nice wide top. I say it won't go with our tissue boxes because I don't think you'd find one that was that size. But I'm sure, um, I've seen it anyway on uh, one of the other channels that somebody used a toilet roll and I thought that's a brilliant idea because the cheaper toilet rolls are a lot cheaper than tissues. Hope he goes through hundreds of tissues. He can't use one more than once. You know, I, I have one and, well, I won't go into blowing noses and things. It's not a very nice subject, is it? <laughs> but yeah, um, I can keep a tissue... For quite a few uses um but yeah for whatever reason he seems to just use it and then we'll chuck it away and then get another one and oh it just drives me nuts but anyway right so yeah that's my little school bus i really enjoyed doing that one and that was only four pounds 64 pence so yeah i just thought that was real fun as i say it, it was more difficult for me to do more awkward for me to do um, because of how I diamond paint and how I position everything but uh, yeah it was enjoyable to do I mean there's actually three sizes of gems there's the large there's the medium and the small on the top so the way I worked on it um, I put all the large on all the sides first um, and then I went and I think I did the colours I think I did the smaller amounts next so that they were positioned okay and then I went and put the next largest and I put the smallest actually on last so that they were like squishing in between and I could put a bit more pressure to squish them in between. It's easier to squash in a smaller gem than it is to squash in a larger gem when something's covered like that. Um, well, that's how I work on it anyway. And I actually left the lid until last. I did all the sides first and then I did the lid last. I did each side one at a time. I think I did all the colours together. So all the red, all the blue. I mean, there's two sizes of blue on here as well, not just uh, the large. There's like a, well, a medium and a small there on there as well. So I did all those first and then I just finished off doing the, the top. But 
yeah really enjoyed doing that great fun okay so we've got quite a few gems to put away i'm just going to put that gem inside that bus so that i know that there may be one that's a little bit missing i don't think i've actually got many to put away on this uh, this one will literally just be this is left over from our little love bird oh he definitely needs a friend who has to get them in pairs i do believe they're all just the standard crystals, so I'll put those away later. Put them back in there as well, so I know what they are. Okay, uh, I've got gold and silver there. Well, the gold can go away at a later date, but my silver could go in my silver jar. And get those put away. Keep that because that'll go in my logbook. I'll have to get photographs of some of these as well to go in my logbook. Okay, was there a silver in this one? I don't think there was, was there? No, it was literally, yeah, it was all that. So that's those two, put those in there. So put those together, right, to our little Harry Potters. Okay, so they're all again. I'm going to keep those gems separate that I've not used. In fact, actually I might keep all of these gems together and yeah i'm going to order the other two bookmarks um, and see what comes so i'm not going to put any of these gems away i don't think no i'm not going to put any of those away and i'm going to see um, if i need them for another kit but, uh, if not i've just got lots of spares I always like spares can never have too many spares right and then these I've got a toolkit in here as well i've not picked that oh why I usually separate the toolkits. Okay, that'll go in my box with all the hundreds of others for my little charity donation. And then we've just got white and black in there, so none of those to put away actually. Okay, so it's going to be a very quick uh, putting down this. Once I've got my others up and running um, in my DMC number, there will be a bit more to do but at the moment. I am just putting away the special shapes and the slightly larger ones. So there's a few in here to do anyway, so that's not so bad. Okay, so that's my... Okay, in a great box as well, love this. And a tissue box. You certainly are. And we've even got a little picture of a bus there, look. So I can cut that out and that can go in my logbook as well. Right, so we've got that one. That's a standard, I think. That's the larger gem. That's a larger gem. That's just standard 310 black. They all go separately as well. Uh, there. A larger blue. They're the standard red. I love that colour. That is just stunning. You wouldn't think that that is that colour. Well, I suppose you would if you put it together, but <laughs> it's just come out absolutely gorgeous. Just love it. It's such a pale blue pretty pretty blue we like pretty that's just your standard white as well uh, that's some larger gold there that's the standard gold and that's oh all my standard silvers look oh no i don't know they look blue actually they've definitely i don't know maybe it's just the lighting they just look a bit darker that's all the silvers but no they've gone on there okay so yeah i've got an awful lot of spare silvers with the bus I must have thought if you want to swap some out you can do okay so that's my silvers jar filling up nicely it's gonna look really pretty when it's full with the uh, scotty dog in the background and then i think i'll decorate the lid with something probably put a little clay scotty dog or a little ornament or something on top of it just to make it pretty yeah we like pretty we like doing things so it looks as though that's a standard as well i've just got five lots to put away and they're all rounds so that's easy okay so let's get my specials box right 
So let's have a look. So we need to look in Craft Buddy side first. I'll just put those out of the way. I'm going to keep those. Actually, I'm going to put the bookmarks with those. I will do a video um, on sealing these because obviously this will want sealing as well if I'm going to be wearing it in bed. <laughs> That'll be fun. Um, but at the moment, it's so warm. I think the sealer's going to be drying as soon as I'm putting it on and it might not spread properly. So I'm going to leave that till a little bit cooler day. But I will be doing another sealing video. I have got a few in my playlist, but yeah, I'll be yeah, using my sealer and uh, doing that at a later date. So let me just put those on one side. This is a little bit more room. So I should put that away as well. Try and keep tidy, Liz. Oh. Um, that's good, that's good. We'll put all these in here. And um, that one. That one's just a. standard right as well so I can put that one in there keep that bag and put those in there so there are the ones to put away I've got that many of those to do whether I'll actually do those or not I'm not sure I'm getting to a point now where I think I might just start on ones that have got DMC numbers and maybe not keep the others but we'll see how we go right so we want rounds and we want so there in the craft buddy side which is this side what I do is um, Craft Buddy Crystal Art have a code number for every single drill that they have and I've been using their code numbers to put away my Craft Buddy uh, crystals and my special drills and then what I've been doing is any that haven't got a number on seeing if I can match them up so that they can go into the Craft Buddy side um, it's a slow process but it is getting there not quite sure why I've still got that in there. I'll put that at the front there because I haven't got any ABs in here anymore. All my ABs are in my art dot drawers. So let's have a look at these. So we've not got any of those. Looking at gold, gold in two sizes, silver and blue. So are those gold that colour? And oh, they could be. So we'll keep that one out. We've not got those, we've not got that blue, we'll keep that one. Uh, we want a really pale blue, a yellow and a silver. So let's see, oops, that's uh, a bigger than that one, so that's too big. We've got the reds now then, is that that one? That one could be that one, so we'll keep that one out. That's a blue, but that's just a... A round one, it doesn't have any facets on. Okay, and that one's a very pale gold, which we've not got, so we've not got any of those. Let's just put those back in there for now. So these are all ones with code numbers on, right? Let's have a closer look at these. And yes, they're the same colour, so we will put these in here, so that's good. Okay, so we've got two matched up hopefully and have a look at the other one and um, the bags work very good on these uh, on the bus the labels on the bags weren't very good so I actually went over them with um, a marker pen and actually wrote on them I sort of like looked at the bags really closely so I could find out what the numbers were Um yeah the, there were those um, they were just like dots you know, even the square was just like little dots to make up the square and it was very easy to miss. So I actually, before I started, went through and actually put a marker pen, as I say, um, onto those so that I knew what they were before they rubbed off. So that was one thing that I wasn't keen on, um, but there wasn't that many colours, so it didn't make too much difference. But it's just things to watch out for, uh, you know, if you, your number's likely to rub off, then make sure that you actually write it on first yeah that was a number 12 and that was all dots so I've just joined the dots <laughs> I 
I got to play a game with this one before I did it as well. <laughs> okay. All right. So and that's that one. So we need to put those away now. So we're at number 30. Okay. And number 119. Right. 119. Right. So we haven't got these three, so now I need to look in silver, blue and lemon or yellow to see if I've got any of these in my uncategorised or un, unnumbered, unlettered <laughs> bags. So I want to be in silver. So I think we have white first and then we have silver. Okay, and all of my gems that I haven't got a number or a letter code on them are categorised categorised into large rounds, marquees and teardrops just to make it a bit easier for me um, and then we've just got miscellaneous at the back which are like miscellaneous shapes like stars and flowers and things like that. So that's a slightly different colour. Now then I don't know whether I've got this size which is strange because that's quite a popular one isn't it? Or is it that one? Yes, I think. Oh, have I done it again? Do you know I've got two sizes in that? Oh, they no, they're smaller than those. Let me just see. No, I think actually there is two sizes in that bag. There is this size. Yeah, that's that one. But then that one's bigger. But they're, they're actually not as big. Oh yes, they are as big as those. All right, so that's a mixed bag. So I'm going to have to do something with that. So what I might do is actually start a bag with smaller ones in. You see, they're different colours. No, I know what I remember I did. I did have two different colours in those and I decided to just put them both together because it's just such a slight difference in the silver. So I'm going to put those in there. And I've got another bag that I'm going to have to sit some time and sort out, which I will do at some point. I'll keep it out of here to remind me. Uh, <laughs> will I get in there or not? In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter whether I do or not, but I do think, well, yeah, I do like to keep things tidy and uh, yeah, so we'll find them. Right, I think yellow is at the back here somewhere, or is that orange? So yellow is at the back here. Uh, yellow, 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 teardrops. Uh, that one is oops, blue. Oh, well, let's have a look at the blues then, seeing as I'm in blue. Okay. I'm wearing blue today as well. <laughs> Strange. So we want a very, very pale blue. I don't think I've got this one because it's just such a pretty colour and I don't remember using it before. No, I haven't, so I've got to make a new bag for that one. And this storage must get sorted out. Okay. Get this one out of here. Yeah, this one was an F, and again I had to join the dots on it and fill it in because it was a bit of a strange letter. Okay, so let's put those in a bag on their own. And that's one of those horrible little thin bags, I'll get rid of that. So that one can go back in the blues. And now we just want the yellows, which, yeah, there's yellow. I don't have many yellows and are they that size or are they a different size? I oh, know it looks like that's possibly one of the only gems that they do in the yellow so <laughs> and this one was off our love birds oh well love bird oh I'll have to get him a friend it's a shame you can't get them you know that's like mirrored so that you'd have one there looking that way and then one that's just a mirror image looking that way so they could both look at one another. That would be quite sweet. There's an idea, GBFK. <laughs> Do some love birds. Do one of each side. Okay, yeah, they just, oh, I've put them in marquees instead of rounds. So that's those put away. Um, I'll keep those out in my little drawers. 
because then I've got to sort those out, another job to do. Okay, well, that's the kitting down done and the completion review. And then do you remember the last delivery I got from GBFKE? They sent me two of the same canvas and I did say I would do a subscriber giveaway. So if you are a oops, no. if you are a subscriber to my channel and would like to win this absolutely gorgeous ice lolly gnomes with the kiwi fruit, the lemon and the melon and it says hello summer and we've got 22 colours it is in round it's the 30 by 40 canvas size so it's the picture drill size is a little bit smaller so yep yeah, i've not well i did take it out and have a look to make sure it was the same one but the drills and the toolkit and everything are all still in there so this could be winging its way to you if you would like to win it and if you would like to win it if you put hashtag no that's g-n-o-m-e in the comments uh, then yeah I will do a draw for everybody that puts hashtag gnome in my comments and uh, yeah I'll put you all in a hat again and see uh, who gets to win it it would be a shame because I don't want to so it would be a shame for somebody not to win it and somebody to be able to enjoy it and let's see if we can get it to somebody uh, what date are we today we're the I think 11th of August today so if I do up to the 18th of August then, so, no, we'll do it. It's Wednesday today, so I'll do it to a week on Friday, whatever that date is. I'll put the date on the screen and that will be the closing date for putting your hashtag gnome in the comments. So yeah, good luck to everybody. Uh, one final thing, I have had a new subscriber to my channel. Uh, and her name is Diamond Peter. She has just started diamond painting. So I'd love you to just pop across and give her some love and subscribe uh, to her channel and just give her a little bit of a boost because it is hard getting started. Um, you know, I've been going well, over 18 months, uh, two years in December it'll be. So yeah, you know, it does take a, a while to get that momentum going to start getting subscribers and get noticed and having a bit of fun so yeah just pop along as set. i'll put a link down below and i'll just put so she's diamond peter um and yeah she's lovely so pop across and give her some love okay well if you've enjoyed this video and having a look at these then a thumbs up is always much appreciated any comments including comments with hashtag no uh pop them in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, see what else Smashing the Specials brings, uh, then if you want to press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. And don't forget, a uh, big thank you to GBFKE for sending me all these products and sending me these. And as I say, I did get two of the same. So, yeah, do it as a giveaway. I might as well share out the diamond paintings. Okay, well, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.